First reading, a reading from the prophet Ezekiel, chapter 37, verses 21 to 28. Thus says the Lord God, I will take the children of Israel from among the nations to which they have come, and gather them from all sides to bring them back to their land. I will make them one nation upon the land in the mountains of Israel, and there shall be one prince for them all. Never again shall they be two nations, and never again they shall be divided into two kingdoms. No longer shall they defile themselves with their idols, their abominations, and all their transgressions. I will deliver from all their sins of apostasy, and cleanse them so that they may be my people, and I may be their God. My servant David shall be prince over them, and there shall be one shepherd for them all. They shall live by my statutes and carefully observe my decrees. They shall live on the land that I gave to my servant Jacob, the land where their fathers lived. They shall live on it forever they and their children and their children's children with my servant David their prince forever I will make with them a covenant of peace it shall be an everlasting covenant with them and I will multiply them and put my sanctuary among them forever my dwelling shall be with them I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Thus the nation shall know that it is I, the Lord, who make Israel holy, when my sanctuary shall be set up among them forever. The Word of the Lord A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Many of the Jews who had come to Mary and seen what Jesus had done began to believe in him. But some of them went to the Pharisees and told them what Jesus had done. So the chief priest and the Pharisees convened the Sanhedrin and said, What are we going to do? This man is performing many signs. If we leave him alone, all will believe in him. And the Romans will come and take away both our land and our nation. But one of them gave us who was high priest that year, said to them, You know nothing, nor do you consider that it is better for you that one man should die instead of the people, so that the whole nation may not perish. He did not say this on his own, but since he was high priest for that year, he prophesied that Jesus was going to die for the nation, and not only for the nation, but also to gather into one the dispersed children of God. So from that day on, they planned to kill him. So Jesus no longer walked about in public among the Jews, but he left for the region near the desert to a town called Ephraim, and there he remained with his disciples. Now the Passover of the Jews was near, and many went up from the country to Jerusalem before Passover to purify themselves. They looked for Jesus and said to one another, as they were in the temple area, What do you think? That he will not come to the feast? The Gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, series of events preceded prior to, prior to Jesus' triumphant entry to Jerusalem. And we see a series of episodes were taken place before Jesus' suffering and death in Jerusalem. Cephas, 
being the high priest of Jerusalem, he, he openly said, it is better that one person dies instead of leading whole nation to the destruction. In other words, through the mouth of this high priest Capus, God himself spoke in saying that Jesus is going to die for the salvation of the whole world. At the same time, my dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, the religious leaders of Jesus' society, they determined to kill Jesus. That is also one of the episodes that took place prior to Jesus' triumphant entry into Jerusalem in order to offer himself as a ransom for the mankind. And in the same way, in today's gospel we see Jesus withdrew to the desert to live with his own disciples. Therefore, the people, they were speaking and they were discussing among themselves, will Jesus come to the festival of Passover this year? Because he knows that he is going to be handed over to the hands of the chief priest and he will be put into death during this festival of Passover. Will he come? What do you think? That is what they were discussing among themselves. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, we know that Jesus came to this festival of Passover. He entered the Jerusalem in order to offer this once and for all sacrifice for the salvation of the whole mankind. Jesus entered the Jerusalem. Jesus entered the Jerusalem temple and he made an he made new Jerusalem. He created a new Jerusalem by entering into the old Jerusalem. Now it is up to us in this year, in year 2021, to enter into our own Jerusalem. We also have our own Jerusalem. Our life itself is a Jerusalem. Sometimes this Jerusalem is desecrated due to our own sin. We know that our old Jerusalem must be destroyed and we must build a new Jerusalem together with Jesus. Therefore, as we are on the eve of Holy Week, we are about to begin the Holy Week. Therefore, let us enter into our own Jerusalem together with Jesus. And let us say to Jesus, I have been preparing myself during these 40, 40 days in order to enter into my old Jerusalem. Because I don't want to live in this old Jerusalem anymore, which is sinful. Therefore, Lord, make a new Jerusalem in myself. And I am going to renew my baptismal promises on the Holy Saturday. And by renewing my baptismal promises, let me become a new human being. Let me become a new Jerusalem so that I may be able to attain the salvation which you won for us 2,000 years ago. Amen. Sri Vachanaya.